I've tested a lot of sensors and this new one is unlike anything I've ever used. It's seriously blowing my mind on what it can do. Not only that, but a YouTuber made this and you can actually buy it. This is crazy. I'll show you why this sensor beats out any other sensor I've used and why I'm gonna be buying a lot of these. This is the Everything Presence One. Let me quickly go over what's packed into this because there's more than just one sensor. This thing senses light, temperature, humidity, and those are all great, but it's not what makes this thing special. Inside is a millimeter wave and a PIR sensor. You might be like, whoa, ho, ho, what are those? Well, PIR stands for passive infrared, and that's basically on every single motion sensor you've ever seen. And those are great for detecting if someone walks into the room, but if you've used one before, you know that it's not great at detecting if someone is still in the room. That's where the millimeter wave sensor comes in. This emits electromagnetic waves that are reflected back to detect smaller movements, like taking a deep breath. Yeah, that's right, this can detect me taking a deep breath, even though I'm barely moving. I'm not joking when I say this sensor is insane. Millimeter Wave is still fairly new in the smart home world, but it's becoming more popular. And I can see why, because it fills in a gap where normal motion sensors fall short. But it gets even crazier when you see how accurate this thing is. Let me show you this thing in action. So you can adjust the distance for the millimeter wave sensor. I thought this would be like other motion sensors where you can adjust the sensitivity and it still might pick you up from a distance because those things aren't very accurate with the fine tuning and the distance. But this sensor, different story. Check this out. I set the distance to five feet and here I am waving my hand at seven feet away and it doesn't pick me up. I moved to six feet and it still doesn't see me. And now at five feet, it detects me and back to six feet and I'm basically invisible to it. I can't believe this. Well, what about a larger room? It's accurate up to 26 feet. So I set it to 23 feet and the same thing happens. It doesn't detect me at 25 or 24 feet, but once I hit exactly 23 feet, it detects me. This thing is nuts. When it comes to sensitivity, it works really well too. It arrived at a default level at seven and it was a bit high for this room because I have a floating light bulb that might have been triggering it, but I moved it down to level two and it's perfect. Watch, I have to sit extremely still for it to not detect me. Then I take a deep breath and that little bit of movement triggers the sensor. Same with typing on my keyboard. It picks it up with no problem. And it doesn't even have a direct line of sight to the keyboard. Also, look how fast it is at picking up movement. It's almost instant. It's so good that I created an automation kind of like a freeze game, where if you hold still, the light bulb changes and a timer starts. But if you move at all, then the light bulb changes and the timer stops. So it's kind of like the quiet game where if my kids are winning, I'm winning. Now if I leave the room, it does a pretty good job at not detecting anything, but it's not perfect. Every few hours there's a false positive. But false positives aren't a big deal because it has a PIR sensor on board. And that PIR sensor is extremely accurate at detecting when someone is actually in the room. So the combination of the two is a dream for creating automations. And I'm so excited to use this more in my house, which I'll show you here in a minute. Since you plug this thing in and it doesn't use battery, the cooldown time is really fast for motion detection. Some battery motion sensors can take a minute or even longer before it can detect motion again, which can be frustrating. The light, humidity, and temperature sensors all seem to be working fine. The temperature seems to be reading a little warmer than it might be. You can adjust the offset though. But this millimeter wave sensor unlocks so many more automations that were either impossible or very difficult to do. Before I get into the automation ideas, a quick word from our sponsor. I really like this new River 2 power station from EcoFlow since it's not bulky, it's light on your arms and your wallet. 
which means this is easy to take camping or on road trips. I could see myself taking this thing outdoors to charge drones, cameras, laptops, phones, and anything really. Honestly, one of my least favorite things about camping is inflating an air mattress using my car, but this thing would make it so much easier. But then it gets even more useful. When you're at home, you can use it as a backup in case the power goes out. Let me explain. Say you use a CPAP or a sound machine. Just plug it into the river too, which is plugged into the wall, and it will use the grid to keep it powered. But if the power does go out, the river too switches over from using main power to the battery in just 30 milliseconds. So now even if the power flickers, the sound machine will stay on and my kids will stay asleep. Well, in theory. EcoFlow has an LFP battery in here, so it should last a long time. Oh, and when you need to charge it up, plug it into the wall and it only takes an hour, which is just crazy fast. You can charge it with the EcoFlow solar panels or the 12 volt output in your car. But what I love is that you can also charge this up with just USB-C in case you forget the AC cable. One last thing, if you're worrying about durability, I wouldn't. This is not just a battery, it's more like a wrecking ball. Honestly, I would worry more about the groundbreaking than the river too. Check it out in the link below for a discount code. Now let's go around my house and I'll show you automations you can do with this sensor. Starting off first here in the studio with a simple one to help you grasp how it all works. I've never been able to fully automate the lights in this room, which is kind of ironic because this is where I spend most of my day talking about automations. But that's because I don't want the lights turning off when I'm sitting there editing or when I'm talking to the camera like I am right now. So with this sensor, I set up a few automations in here. For the last week, it's been the only way I've been able to turn the lights on and off and it's been flawless. I have the PIR sensor turn everything on when I walk in the room, but only if the desk light strips are off. That way it only runs once when I first walk into the room, then I can turn off the ceiling lights and they won't turn right back on for motion. Then if the millimeter wave doesn't detect me for 10 minutes, everything turns off. I could probably make that less than 10 minutes because the sensor is so accurate, but I often walk out of this room for a few minutes and walk back in and I don't want everything turning off on me right away. I'm just happy I can finally automate everything in this room now. For the next ideas, let's go into the master bathroom. Right now I have a motion sensor to turn on the lights and it's a slight eyesore. This new sensor is great because you can put it out of sight and it can still pick up people when they walk into the room using that millimeter wave sensor. So I could put it somewhere like under the vanity counter and it can turn on the lights right when I walk into the room even though I can't see it. You could use the humidity sensor to start playing music when the shower is running also using the millimeter wave sensor, you can keep the lights on while someone is showering. Right now I have a workaround where if the ceiling fan is on, then the motion lights won't turn off because someone is probably showering. But this new sensor makes things so much easier on all levels. Move over to the kitchen area and there are so many ways you can use it here. One thing that's difficult for me to automate is when someone walks into the kitchen and stays there. Usually a motion sensor just lets me know when someone entered the room, but they could have just immediately walked away. Here's how the new sensor fixes it. Now I can announce on a smart speaker in the kitchen that the garage door has been left open, since the kitchen and the garage are right next to each other. But I will only have that happen if someone is actually standing there in the kitchen. And since the millimeter wave is so accurate, I could have it start playing music for me when I'm standing in the kitchen doing dishes after dinner. And I can feel confident that this will get triggered when it's supposed to because that sensor is so accurate. And I could seriously put these in every room of my house because they're so useful. And this sensor is slightly different than other sensors I've covered on this channel because there's some assembly required, but it's much easier than you might think. Lewis from the YouTube channel Everything Smart Home originally prototyped this sensor and showed how you can buy the parts and build it yourself. That required some soldering and isn't really an option for a lot of people. So Lewis ended up designing and manufacturing his own PCB board, so you don't have to worry about soldering at all. All you have to do is snap the board into the case and place the PIR and millimeter wave sensors in the pins, 
It's very easy and anyone can do it. This only connects to Home Assistant, but to add it is extremely easy. So you plug it into power first, which uses USB-C, love to see that. And then you add it just like you add any other smart Wi-Fi device. You connect your phone to the device's Wi-Fi hotspot and add your Wi-Fi network to it. A pop-up should automatically show up in Home Assistant to integrate it, and then you're good to go. I was surprised to see how easy it was to get up and running, and I know Lewis put in a lot of work to make it that simple, so hats off to him. At the time of making this video, the sensors are sold out for pre-order, but he told me more will be available soon. Follow me on the Elon Musk social network for updates on when those will be available, because I'm sure they're gonna go quick. I know I'm gonna be buying some. Thanks for watching. Hey Dad, I bet you can't beat me in the freeze game. What, are you kidding me? Let's do it right now, come on, let's do it right now. Okay, stay there Dad. That was too easy.